Hey everyone, it's been a while. I'm here to talk top tier fuels and why it matters. One of the reasons why it matters is not using top tier fuel can cause your manufacturer warranty to be void. Another reason is because it caused carbon deposits in the engine that can lead to costly repairs. But when I talk about top tier fuel, I'm not necessarily talking about the octane levels. When you go to the pump, the 89, 87, 92, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you go to the gas stations, there's specific brand gas stations that GM lists that are okay and not okay to use. So some of these gas stations would be Sitco, Phillips 66, things like that. You can also find the list of those gas stations at toptiergas.com backslash station dash finder. And that will have a list of those gas stations that have the proper detergents and things like that that can keep your engine clean. So AAA research shows after 4,000 miles of driving with a top tier fuel can actually cause an average of 19 times fewer carbon deposits in the engine. Long-term use of low grade fuel and not using the top tier fuel can actually reduce your fuel economy um, by two to 4% and cause drivability issues as well as engine issues. In most cases, these carbon deposits can be cleaned up just by the next few tank tanks of fuel, change it over to that top tier gas to see if you can clean out some of those carbon deposits. If you have a manufacturer warranty, then using not using top tier gas can actually ward that warranty. Some of the companies that actually require top tier fuel are Ford, GM, Audi, Toyota, Honda, BMW, Volkswagen, and there's so many more. That's pretty compelling to me to use top tier fuel. If all of these companies require it, and there's a list of it, and I can help take care of my engine, why wouldn't I? So let's think about that the next time we fill up, guys. Remember to use that top tier fuel to help take care of that engine long term. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to answer them, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.